Boomtown 2040 is our focus on all the growth across Central Texas, and part of that includes the suburban explosion. In Williamson County, there's such a boom that neighborhoods are being pitted between cities, and the KVU Defenders uncovered it's created a water fight, and homeowners are paying the price. KVU's Terry Gruca has the story. In real estate, location is everything. We're not far from the river, so I love that. A serene space where nature nurtures the soul is exactly where Mary Martin dreamed of spending retirement. Dale Von Heter and his wife, too. Just found this house, found the spot, and fell in love with it. They found it nestled in the hills, this growing area off Ronald Reagan Boulevard and Highway 29. It falls within an extraterritorial district in Williamson County, an unincorporated area just outside Leander, Georgetown, and Liberty Hill. It was part of the attraction, and now part of the problem. I would say do your research on your utility bills and don't get stuck in the situation like we are. For years, Georgetown provided this rural area with water, but Leander paid to take over service in Rancho Siena notifying customers in 2017. Problem is, most of these homeowners were not living there at the time. Like That's really not fair because they didn't tell us. Mike New works with the city of Leander. The difference was there was maybe um, a few dozen homes in Rancho Cien at the time, and in six years, there's now over 1,200. So big change uh, prior to us actually making that switch over. So um, I can see why a lot of new residents really had no idea. Until they got the bills. With Georgetown, homeowners paid $1.75 per 1,000 gallons. With Leander, their rates jumped to $2.40. And it's about to get more expensive. The rates are set to go up to $5.40 per 1,000 gallons starting in October. Starting in the October service period, which is usually the end of September through the end of October. So in a November bill, uh, those Transition residents are going to see uh, the typical rate for outside city customers. It looks like the utilities now are going to be, if you add them all together, are going to be more expensive than what the uh, the current payment for the house is, the mortgage and the interest. <laughs> so it's a little stunning for it to have gone up that much. With Georgetown, it was about 93 in the summer, and our last bill we got from Leander was 185. So it's a pretty large, large jump. And we're a three person family, so I couldn't imagine what people with more are dealing with. It's a shock when you're, what you're paying doubles and now they're learning that it's going to double again. I think looking back, a steady flow of information um, could have helped, I think, ease the, the panic about the changes in, in the rates. Um, you know, this, because it's been in the works so long, this isn't something that can sort of change course um, at this point in time. The KB Defenders checked water rates in cities across Central Texas, and we found most areas charge between $1.25 and $2 per thousand gallons. Cedar Park and Leander charge the most, but they cover largely rural areas where infrastructure and water towers still need to be built. Growing areas of new development where water is often transferred between cities. It turns out in areas where that happens, like here in Rancho Siena, homeowners cannot appeal to the Public Utility Commission. The only time they can appeal is when those rates change within an existing service. I'm going to get some rain barrels, I think, so I can continue watering my plants without going broke. Mary and the others say water wasn't something they ever really thought much about when buying their homes. But as many rural central Texas counties see an explosion of growth, the lines of service providers are increasingly becoming blurred. So we have a Georgetown address, but then our kids go to Liberty Hill schools. Um, and then now I guess our water is on Leander. So we're kind of dealing with three different cities here. We realize it's difficult. We're still going to provide the best service we possibly can in the area, and we hope customers will understand that. A costly lesson about why knowing everything about your location really is key in real estate. For the KV Defenders, I'm Terry Gruca.
Terry, thank you. Now this could happen in other areas across central Texas as neighborhoods continue to pop up in once rural areas. Senator Charles Schwertner tells the KVU defenders he plans to propose a bill in the next Texas legislative session that would allow homeowners to appeal to the Public Utility Commission when cities transfer service.